Hey everybody, it's Ryan. Welcome back to How Farms Work. So we're gonna go to the farm, pick up the stock trailer, and head to the Bloomington Livestock Exchange where I'm planning on buying, phew, where I'm planning on buying two bulls for my cows. So if you guys will remember, uh, I've had pretty bad luck with bulls the last two years. So I'm hoping that by buying two bulls this coming year, it's gonna solve any issues that I have of breeding my cattle back. So, um, Need this. Put that there. Take those straps out. So we're gonna be taking my stock trailer for one last ride. Uh, we actually bought a new 24 foot steel stock trailer, which I'm gonna be showing you guys when it comes in, but unfortunately it wasn't here in time. But I am going to be selling my stock trailer. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna be putting it up for sale after today. This is the one thing that I really needed it for. I've already had a couple people ask about it, but I couldn't sell it until after today. So I'm gonna put drop the Kurt ball in, the puck ball, and uh, we're gonna go over, pick up the stock trailer, head to Bloomington. The sale for the 2K cattle auction starts in an hour. So I'm gonna go see if I can't pick up a couple bulls. Um, unfortunately, this isn't something that I really wanna do, but uh, I need a new bull again. So let's go, buddy. There you go. So my trailer is a 98 Featherlight STL 20 footer. And it's actually the trailer that grandpa bought after we got rid of the stock truck, which was basically just a large truck with a giant pen in the back to move cattle around. I can very vaguely remember sitting in the middle seat of that, looking behind me and being able to see the cows back on the back of the truck, which was kind of a cool memory to have. But uh, after grandpa bought this trailer, it's what we've used ever since. And it's kind of the the norm stock trucks are kind of a thing of the past because you can haul more with these larger uh, capacity trailers i already went ahead and removed the stickers off the trailer so after today we're not going to be using it anymore because i'm expecting the trailer the new one to come in either this week or next week and we're not going to be moving any more cattle between now and then at least i don't think we will be so this is going to be the one last ride of grandpa's trailer before i sell it around the edges but the inside's still pretty good. Rocket's just back there and mind his own business. All right, let's roll out. Once I get up here, I'm not gonna do a whole lot of talking, but what I'm looking for are two bulls. I'm looking to spend around 5,000 for both of them. Uh, last year, I bought one off this auction for around 2,500 bucks. The first few that went, went up to like 10 grand. And I'm like, um, maybe I should just leave now. <laughs> but towards the end there, um, they weren't selling for quite as much. So uh, I'm hoping that I can kind of strike a good deal two good deals like I did last year, this year, hoping that I don't have to pay much over 6,000. So we'll come to see what happens. Um, it might happen, but I hope it doesn't. We might not even buy a bull today. So a lot of people told me that we should always have two bulls, which in the past, we've never had any kind of issue like this. So we never really worried about it too much. But then after this past year, um, We've come to the conclusion that he was probably injured 
by one of my cows, likely kicked him and uh, might have taken his mojo away, if you know what I mean. So I'm hoping that by having two bulls out there, I can mitigate that. I'd like to do more bull breeding soundness exams in the future to make sure that the bulls are staying good. But from here on out, I would like to maintain two bulls out there with the cows, considering that I am up over 30 uh, breeding cows. I'm sitting at 39. 40 including the one bull that I got now so uh, I'm probably gonna load my current bull up and take him to auction something funny I've always found is that it doesn't matter whether you're in a semi pulling a trailer you've got a pickup truck pulling a trailer or you've got a car fully loaded with stuff over the top it doesn't matter if you're going 70 and a 55 you're always gonna have a line of cars behind you <laughs> Never fails. Passing through the small town of B-Town. Don't blink or you'll miss it. A little busy today. Man, this is a mud hole. That looks like a good parking spot, eh? Well, we're here. This marks the 23rd year of this uh, continuous sale and a uh, great tribute to the uh, 2K program and uh, Kevin and Carrie and their family on a great uh, great set of cattle that we have to offer today. Let's uh, start off. Uh, we're working under the standard terms and conditions of the American Angus Association. Lot number seven, I couldn't think of a better way to start off the day than one of the greatest bulls ever produced in the program. Here's the Paws Maverick Sun back to the traction. Look at this, 10 CE, negative 0.6 to 129. Check out that scan that eight on IMF over a 15 inch ribeye. He weighed up at 823 pounds. He's a sure shot heifer bull, lot number seven. Here we go, oh my, what a place to start, ladies and gentlemen. He is lot number seven right here in your 2021 20, edition of your 2K Cattle Enterprises auction sale is on. You tell me, all right, here we go, what do you got to do here? Now that on it, I get 12, 15 pounds. Uh, 
number 22. Uh, all right, you betcha. Number 22 coming in the ring here now. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got more bull in the ring, folks. Help yourself. 2022 and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So now, unfortunately, I only walked away with one bull. Um, I really wasn't expecting to walk away with just one, but unfortunately, a lot of those bulls didn't go for less than three grand. Um, there was one here or there, but looking at their spec sheet and their size, I wasn't wasn't all that crazy about getting one of those bulls for this year, just because some of them were on the smaller side. So. It is what it is. Um, I got one bull. Uh, the guy that I was sitting next to actually said that he sells bulls. He's uh, he said if I was looking for another one that that they sell them too. So I don't know. Might see what he's got to try to get that other bull. Um, might not. Not totally sure what I'm gonna do here yet. But uh, he's from Freeburg Ridge Angus, and he showed me his Facebook page. He's out of Caledonia, Minnesota. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Let's just focus on getting this one home for now. So I got this bull. He was lot number 25. Uh, I bought him for 3000 They took $50 off since I'm taking him today. So that comes out to $29.50. Come on, bud. Come on, Spud. Come on. Let's go. Come on, Spud. There you go. Come on. He's like, I've seen one of these before. Hey, 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 hey. Here, 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 here,
We've got the bull loaded now. We're gonna go back to the main farm and drop the bull in the back lot with Travis's cows. Uh, he's got a few there, but I don't wanna drop them in with mine yet because I wanna try to keep them all relatively synced since I have cows that didn't get bred and cows that did get bred, I wanna try to wait until the ones that did get bred calve so that way they're all pretty well synced. Otherwise, they're gonna have to be pretty wonky as far as next year when they start calving. So I'd like to have spring calves, so I'm gonna wait until probably May or June to drop them in with my cows. That way I can try to uh, make sure that they're all kind of calving at the same time later in spring. I like to wait a little bit later so that way the calves don't have to deal with as much as the cold and it gives them all summer to fill out and then that way we can take them off the cows at the end of the summer and wean them. Up. I actually kind of like the look of him. He's got a nice straight back. Come on, buddy. He's a year and two months. Well, spring is finally here. We got our bull, and uh, now it's just the waiting game for when we go and put them out there with the cows. But things are starting to green up around here. We got some snow here just last week, but it's melted already for the most part, and the grass is turning green. So before you know it, we're gonna be out checking fence. I would wholly expect that we're gonna probably start doing that this week. Maybe haul some manure out as well. So be sure to stay tuned as I start picking up my videos as we start doing more. So with that, I'm going to head out. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other videos. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. All how farms work. And with that, I'll see you next time.